So that's the limits on personal liberalism. The election must reflect the free and coerced will of the Muslims. So, so choice and autonomy is important here, but autonomy is that of Muslim because it's Islamic liberalism. Uh, so in that sense, it uh, the social order which it establishes is not the so your personal autonomy within the bound of Sharia, for example, limits of Sharia that establishes Islamic liberalism, Islamic liberal order. And uh, Islamic liberal order is the order which is liberal, but within the limits of of Islam. So you still op the purpose is still personal autonomy should be prosper, and the free will of Muslim people to be materialized, but within the limits. Or Sharia, because that's what make make it Islamic liberal order. So you still have elections, but within the limits of. You still have parliament, but within the limits of Islam. You still have president, president, but within the limits of Islam. That is Muslim. So basically, this is Islam Islamization of liberalism. So liberalism within the limits of Islam. But the the uh, ruh, the soul of the system, or the basic value is liberalism, that is personal autonomy and sanctity of choice and all that, and freedom as intrinsic value in that sense. And obviously, um, this is a justification of liberalism, albeit a partial justification of liberalism, and in that sense, it is different from orthodox Islamic political and social order. So, it might create a Muslim society. Sharia based society, but it will never create a Muslim civilization. Uh, Maulana Maududi argues that a well, well defined